Hello there my YouTube friends and fans, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. I meant to play a horror game yesterday on Halloween day, but I couldn't find one that I haven't already played. So I decided to just go back to Medieval Dynasty. So let's see what happens next. So I'm on my way back here to Gostovia after having visited Tutki to deal with the cow situation and that's finally taken care of even though it was not a pleasant uh, a pleasant experience let me tell you if you saw it you know what i mean so look at that i love when i can see my farm from this side of the river or the lake no it's a river so awesome you can even see my fishing hut huh yeah my little farm is growing and growing so the next thing i want to kind of do is a kitchen because i have flour now and i'm growing cabbage and i just realized actually that summer is coming to an end so let's just hurry up here to get into the village and then after that I should probably have something to defend myself with just in case because you never know there could be bandits and there could be hawks there could be i don't know if there's any bears here probably no bears here but hawks for sure and maybe wolves i never found any oh we finally found some berries wow summer is almost over and i just now find berries because I knew about this location when I came here this is the first time I found berries right here and we found some chicory and some more chicory and some more chicory and some daisy all right I can't find any more let's just go it's getting dark I'm thirsty again, but let's just talk to uh, Unigos first. He's right here. Hi there. Hello, son. Hello, Unigos. Long time no see. Long time indeed, Rosimir. How have you been? Great. I've met Woolrat recently. I'm glad. Seems that you're following the path of Lorden's path just like you wanted to. I do. That's why I'm here, actually. I wanted to ask you about Kestrel. Oh, so you've heard about her? Yes, Wolrod mentioned her name, but nothing else. Not my story to tell, he said. Any ghost? That's uh, really strange. Why would he say it like that? Strange indeed. Kes, uh, uh, I mean, she, yeah, she was part of the pack and that would be it. Your attempt at being casual seems like you're having a stroke. You're right. Sorry. I just wasn't prepared for that topic. For her topic. For her. You see, Kestrel was... Haha, <laughs> I remember the day we met. Me, Lorden, and Samuel were coming back from one of the missions. It was a truly spectacular heist, ruse, battle, revolution, failure. Long story short, we were forced to take a shortcut through the river and lost most of our equipment in the process. Our mounts as well. After a few days of roaming the woods, we've came across a small village. We were way too exhausted to even think of trying something elegant. So we decided to just take the horses from the stable and leave some money behind. So we did just that. We started riding the horses out of the village in a hurry. When we, were suddenly, when we suddenly heard a loud whistle, horses stopped in place immediately. As if they were enchanted. Lord and fell right off. Sambor was kicking the horse in with all his strength, but it wouldn't even budge. And then we heard her voice. 
if you boys want to keep your peckers and heads attached to your bodies, you will get off my horses and start running. I looked behind me and saw the most beautiful woman I've ever seen holding a bow with an arrow pointed right at my eye. At that moment, your uncle managed to get off the ground, pissed as hack, and started giving her a piece of his mind. So she moved her bow a little and released the arrow. She shot him? Without a bl blink, me and Sam were almost died from laughter. Why? What? That was the first and pretty much only person that we've met who made Lorden look like a fool. A child even. The sight of Lorden bleeding and us laughing at that must have been the strangest thing. She surely thought that we were some kind of loonies. I'm certain that she did. We ended up spending the whole day together. She tended the Lorden's wound who didn't say a word to her this entire time and me and Samuel were basically begging her to join us. When we explained our mission to her, which we haven't done for ever before to a stranger, she said yes, just like that. There wasn't even a pinch of fear in that woman, bravest soul that was ever born. Her only condition was that we take all of her horses. She didn't have any family besides those animals and family shall never be left behind. There was five of them, some might call it coincidence. The other destiny. The fifth was for Woolrod, correct? Indeed it was. The steed's name was Burr, which makes it totally fitting for his future owner. Burr was carrying our bags for almost a year before he got himself a rider, and those two became best friends. I'll tell you that. But getting back to Kestrel, Lorden didn't like her at first. Only time we've ever met, ever seen him insecure like that. He didn't put a spell on her with just a glance like every other woman. So he resented her for it. For a while at least, because soon everything fell into place. Sun always rises at the east and sets in the west. No way to get around that. Same thing was with Lorden. He always got what he wanted and that was to be admired and desired. She didn't have a chance, really. They were together, Kestrel and Lorden? Well, it started as a fling, but isn't that how every love starts? Soon they became inseparable. And if I didn't know Lorden so well, I'd say she changed him, but he didn't change. He couldn't. He just enjoyed his new game, a relationship. Even Sambor realized it at some point. Everyone did, except Kestrel. Lorden soon became bored with his game, like we, with any other, so he went back to seducing and having fun with other women. But now there was another challenge for him, another thrill of keeping it a secret from Kestrel. It was painful to watch, really painful, especially when I loved them both so much. You mean loved like family, right? Rasimir, I've loved Kestrel right from the moment she pointed the arrow at me. Never stop, but she always been shy. And living in Lorden's shadow only worsened that, so I kept it to myself for years until I didn't. What do you mean? We started having an affair. So you betrayed Lorden. Nothing is black and white, dear Osimir. You certainly learn it with age. We all live in infinity shades of grey. But yes, that's undeniable. I've hasted myself for it and I hated him for hurting the love of my life, for making me lie to her and keep his dirty secrets while I had some of my own. It was exhausting to be honest, but I couldn't stop. I couldn't lose her and she couldn't stop loving him as well. I'm not charging you, Unighost. That sounds excruciating. That's not the end of the story. It all went downhill when she got pregnant. I couldn't eat or sleep. I have starved. I started distancing myself from her. The unknown was killing me. Was Lorden the father? Did I lay with a woman carrying another man's child? 
or maybe it was mine and I wasn't going to raise it, but instead live as his uncle in a lie, like, like a coward. I had the darkest of thoughts rushing through my mind at this time. I still blame myself for it. Did I wish it ha to happen? Wished what? The baby was stillborn. I wanted to die with it on that day. But I felt relieved at the same time. What kind of a person feels relieved in a situation like that? When Lorden left the room, I wanted to see his eyes. Its eyes. I wanted to be sure to finally know what to feel. She didn't let me. I joined Lorden in his grief. We drank and cried all night. I was pretending to be just an em empathetic brother, but I was a scum. A scum with a grief of his own. The child's little body was burned in the morning. I couldn't get back to being with Kestrel after that, and neither could Lorden. So she lost three of her men on that day, all consumed by the flames, blown away by the wind and smoke as smoke and dust. Unighost, I'm so sorry. I had no idea what you've been through. What you all have been through. You have nothing to be sorry for, my child. I was trying to tell you that from the very beginning. Don't envy the lives I've, we've lived. We were trying to do some goods to make some changes, but we were not heroes and we were still paying the price of it. I need to see her, Unigos. You said that all of you ended up in the valley. I don't know where she lives. She didn't want to be found. Not by me, so I've never lo looked, but I'm pretty sure that Sambor knows. You can try with him. That's what I'm going to do then. Rasimir, if you see her, tell her that. I never mind. Another really long story. And with that, we are now in fall. All right, and it's still foggy. <laughs> and actually, oh wow, my cabbage. I'm just, I'm afraid if, uh, if I, let's, let's take one. Can I eat those raw? I probably have to cook those, right? Wait, I just collected all of them in this one plot. Can I eat them raw? cabbage. What happens if I eat them? I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to eat them raw. They're not like poisonous or anything. Okay. Uh, I'm just afraid if I'm going to collect them now, they're going to get bad. I need to make sure I can kind of cook up something with this cabbage. Uh, Yeah, let's put this right here next to the next to the food storage. Like here. Ah, that's lined up pretty nicely here. So kitchen is done. Yay! I got my own kitchen now! Finally! So, what can we make here? We can make... Porridge? Soups. So that's where I can use the mushrooms. What can I make here? I can make a pie. Oh, I can make a pie. Poppy seed pie. Cherry pie. Fruit pie. Ooh, berry. Flour, eggs. Oh, I don't have eggs. I would need chickens for that. All right, kitchen is done. So awesome. Okay then. Uh, I wonder if you... I think I may have to collect this. I don't think this is going to get any better. Alright. Cool. 
Whoa, they're that heavy? Whew. Let's put those here. I wonder if I can sell them. Eh, yeah, I mean, I could, I guess. You know, that would give me like three coin. Well, it depends how much they actually pay for it. If they would pay three coins for it, that, that gave me like 120, about 120 coins. Because they always pay a little less. That's not bad. If I wouldn't use it for myself, I could just sell it. That'd be another way to make money. Oh yeah, the feathers are like three each and I get a lot of money out of those. So maybe I should sell them. And if it looks like when I collect them, I get cabbage seed back. That's really good. So I can keep growing them. Oh, you know what? I can roast meat here. Oh, that's really good to know. I did. Oh, oh, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I should be able to make the meat right here. Let's make um, let's make another soup though, just because we can. Cool. Oh, that's what I was thinking. You should be able to fry the meat here, so I don't have to make a fire pit anymore. I can just fry it right here. That makes total sense. Yes. Okay. So let's just eat a bunch of... I'm gonna hold on to this mushroom soup. I don't know how long this is gonna hold, but let's just try to see, find out, learning. I'm gonna eat all this meat right now. All right, cool. And now I'm actually gonna destroy this building. Destroy. Yeah, oh well. It's okay. It's always bothered me that this building is in this really weird spot. But that was when I didn't know how I'm gonna want to make my farm. So let's just take it all down. There it goes. Okay, way better, because this building was like totally in the way here. I could barely walk by here. So now I can actually make this herbalist hut. I can set it over like farther back. And it's such a small hut. I almost think that I should put a bigger building here, because this is like the barn and everything. And put the herbalist hut more where it goes, like with the kitchen. Or even like here. I think I'm just gonna put it with, but the well would be kind of really good here. So I don't think I'm gonna want it. I think I want the well here once I can build the well. I think I'm gonna put the herbalist hut like over here. And then here I'm gonna put more like a a building that seems to be make more sense over here. Right? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to make my herbalist hut over here. Oh, I can make a well. I can finally make it. I thought I had to raise animals first in order to unlock this. I can make a well. I am so happy. Let's make the well and the herbalist hut. I have to just redo the herbalist hut. That's okay. I'm going to put it like right here. This is kind of like where my my traps are, but let's see. I don't want to have it too far back, like right here. Yeah. No, I'm not going to use those logs now because I'm actually going to go and do the well also. And then I'm going to build both buildings. I'm going to be busy just building. Where was the well? Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, the well is also a little house. I think this is really good to have the well here, right? I think so. Yay! Woo! We're done with the well! Ha! 
How does it work? Craft. Oh, I need a bucket or a water skin. Oh, now I can... Wait. Don't I have a water skin? I thought I did. What happened to my water skin? Here it is. It probably has to be empty, right? See, it says here water skin, not enough resources. I do have a water skin, but I think the water skin needs to be empty. And the herbalist hut is done again. Yay. I can actually put my her herbs all back now, but I'm not going to do that now. It's okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can barely see anything. Whew. Oh, it's a coldy, windy day. Oh, it's really cold. So let's just uh, put the rest of the seeds here. And I really wish to had more fertilizer. Oh, wait. I got some here. All right. That's not so bad. I never seeded those. Why can I not? Oh, did I already run out of seeds? Oh, I did. Yeah, I did. I could do some wheat here. Those are actually ready. I just don't have those two ready. Oh, I just realized I have never seen this during the day. My little herbal hut. I kind of like that I set it back a little bit. This gives me all this room here in front of it. Which can be used for, you know, making a path. Speaking of, maybe I should make a path from, uh, from here to here. Yes. Because that's why you walk through all the time, right? And then, and then from here to like here, and then from here. So much better. I'm so glad I actually moved this hut. I just need to find a building for here. And then we can put something small here. This could be like the goose, like some kind of stable or something. Oh, I'm hungry. The cabbage is three and I have 45. I'm going to sell this at the village before it goes bad. Oh, here's the berry. I knew I had berry. Oh, I can sell. I could sell those parasol mushrooms. They're like worth a ton. I'm just gonna leave off a meat, that's fine. I need money, so I don't really have a choice. And I can sell like some wooden bowls. Perfect. Let's go and do that real quick. Oh, we gotta hurry, it's getting dark soon. It's almost dark. Let's see if the woman at the tavern here wants to buy my mushrooms. Uh, wait, I'm not at the right place. Where? Oh, I can... Where's the guy? Here's the tavern. It's so dark, I can barely see. But there's nobody here. Shoot. Hey. Hello. Only the best products here. Thank you. Goodbye. So I'm wondering how much it is to buy linen thread so I can make a new bow if I have to. Oh, she's already gone to bed. Shoot. That's what I get for coming here so late. Hey. Hello. 
How are you? Practice is going. I bet you can, uh, I can beat you now. Oh, how confident. All right. I take the bet. How much? 400 coins. We have three shots. The one who gets more points wins. Uh, maybe later. It's a little dark. I can't see the, the target at all. So I will definitely lose. Um. Greetings. <laughs> No, she's not. Take care. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait until winter uh, to go and find someone who wants to live with me. Unless... Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm creating a new settlement. I'm looking for good people willing to join me. This guy says, uh, hello stranger, been wandering around the valley for some time now. I'm still looking for a place to settle though. What can I do for you? Hmm. Sounds like what, what I was looking for with pleasure. Okay, now I found the guy. Yay. All right, good night. I'm gonna go sleep at my place. See you there. Bye. Yeah, I found someone! Cool! Woohoo! Oh, time for bed. It's been a long day. Never been happier to see this bed. Good night. So first of all, I have to get warmer clothes in the pants. Okay, we're good. We are dressed pretty warm now. Is all my stuff still, in, oh, my, my stuff is all 100% condition. Yay, I'm so lucky. All right, so let's check what the day looks like. Brrr, uh, cold as hell. Where is my new person? Oh, he's probably gonna come here soon. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready for him. I have to be ready. It's actually good he hasn't arrived yet, so I can actually do that. Let's go chop some trees. Oh, and I also need to actually hunt. Ha. Huh. I think hunting would be more important right now. I really need to have some food. Especially if I need to feed that guy too. Oh my god, so many deer. Don't run. Shoot. No. Oh, he ran way off. I need to get them in the head. I won't be able. I won't be able to do it unless I do get them in the head. I did get that one in the head, though. Shoot! Here's my arrow. Where'd he go? I'm almost beginning to think that it's easier to take down hogs than those. Those guys always run off. You never get them with the first shot. Oh, they're both up there. It was like so much work to get those guys. I think this is one of the guys that I just shot. Does he see me? I hope not. Ah, 
Oh, I just missed. He just put his head down at the at the moment I shot. He put his head down. No, I didn't get anything. Where's my arrow now? Where's my arrow? Oh, my arrow just probably went like way flying. Yeah, forget that arrow. I think I'm just gonna like take down a hawk. At least the hawk doesn't like run away like that. This guy just keeps running. Yeah, okay, we've been around now. I got I got it. Th th this is not worth it for me. I'm wasting a bunch. Oh, there's another stump. I'm wasting a bunch a bunch of calories and a, and a lot of time. I'm just going to see if I can find that hog. Let me see, do I have the spear ready? Yes, I do have the spear ready. Because I most likely need the spear to finish off the hog. And he's usually around here. I'm just gonna have to go for the simpler animals. I uh, see, I think that's a deer back there. Nope, that's a fox. I mean, a fox would work too, that's okay, whatever. Yeah, that's a fox. No way! Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, I was about to say... You can't be that strong. Come on. I mean, it's a small animal. Okay, that's some meat. That's helpful. Since my rabbit trap is not doing so well. I didn't get my arrow back though. Alright. Well, there's another one right there. I just saw one. Where is he? He's right there. Oh, and there's another one right there. Hmm. Whoa, he almost ran into me. Wait, did I lose both of them? Oh no, there's one. There's tons of foxes here. I could really use another one. There's tons of foxes here, it's crazy. Of course he takes off right now when I'm about to aim. And there's some rabbits over there. I think. Okay, that went pretty well. Because usually you can take him down with one. Let me get my arrow first. Oh, there you are. Yeah, stay right there. It's gonna be a fox feast for me. Oops. Come on. 
come on. Dude, I got you so good. Aren't you done yet? Seriously? Oh, me. Oh my god, I was out of stamina. I was like, I can't run anymore. Thank god. Whew. Thank god he decided to attack me. That gave me a chance to stab him. Alright, so we got three foxes. That's actually very good. So I'm gonna go back and cook up that meat. Actually, no. Let me just, uh, let me just, uh, get a tree or two so I can build this other house. Oh, there he is. He's waiting for me. <laughs> hey there. Sorry about that. I was out hunting. How is life treating you? Oh, pretty good. Can't complain. Let me take a closer look at you. Oh, so I, his workspace is Herbalist Hut, assign house. I don't have a building, so I have to make one so I can assign it to him. Okay, he's, he's going to the Herbalist Hut to do something. I don't know if that was the best place to send him to, though, but I guess I can reassign him. Let me just focus on building a house for him. Uh, I'm just going to make a simple small house and um, shoot. I can't really place it here. It could just be here where I just cleared out some room. Yeah, I guess I guess he can live here. I don't want him to be outside of, uh, of the uh, town or anything. He needs to be protected too, be inside the walls of the... I have to make this quickly so I can he has a room to sleep. Oh, he's gonna walk off on me like the other guy. <laughs> the other guy was like, screw that. This person does not this person does not take care of me. I'm out of here. Right, we are basically done with this house now. We're done. Look at that. We now have the house. In order to maintain a thriving settlement, inhabitants need to provide for their small community by working. Villagers can be given a job by assignment uh, assigning them to a specific building when they are 18 years old or above. Okay, my guy is 25. This can be set up on the management tab when workplaces are finally occupied. Production can be distributed in the buildings tab by selecting a desired house and altering the amounts of goods the workers are going to craft. Hmm, let me find out. So let's check out his house. Okay, he's got the same house as me. He's got room for his stuff. So let me see um, if I can assign him to this house now. All right, I don't really know what to do for you. You need to be able, to, you're 25 years old. You can take care of yourself. You're a hunter, go hunt, please. I'm gonna go cook up my meat now. I made you a house and I assigned you a workspace, so you should be good. Wow, we got a lot of meat out of those foxes. Let me check. That was some good hunting I did today. We got um, 18 pieces of meat. So, 
Where did my guy go? Did he actually go into his place? He's not here. So let's see if he actually went there. I made him this nice hut. He's not here. Where did he go? I mean, if he took off, I get really mad because I made this house for him and uh, I assigned the workshop. He's not here. Oh, he's out there. What is he doing out here? Uh, yeah? How What's are your... you? I'm good. What's your problem? What are you doing standing here like that? Where's he going? Did I do something right? Yeah, your house is right there. Do you do you know? Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing now? I really don't know what's what's the what the problem is here, sir. Uh Build at least 15 buildings. I mean, it says here, it, it seems like I've done, I've done what I could do. If he doesn't want to sleep in his, if he wants to, if he wants to just stand out here all night, then he can just do that because I'm going to go sleep. Um. Alright, I'm gonna go sleep and worry about this in the morning. Alright. At least I have one person now assigned. Good night. I'm gonna see where this guy is now. Oh, look. He's already up. It looks like he came out of his building. Hello. You should go to work. Hello. What are you doing standing here? Are you like a little happier today? No, you're still not in a good mood. I assign you to the woodshed. Could you just please do some work? Uh, hello. It, yeah, hello. All right, well, I don't know what else to do for you. I have assigned you and you're just standing here. So I'm just gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do because I'm supposed to Build three more buildings and what do we still have to build? We can do, we have done a well, we have done an herbalist hut, or oh, we could do an excavation shed. We could do a hen house. That would be actually a good idea. I'm going to make a hen house. That would be a very good idea with six logs. I'm going to go and do that. So we got three logs right there and we have a nice little hog there that I could really use. Oh, are you kidding me? Shoot, where did he go? Is that him? Oh my god, there's another one. No, 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 no. That's his friend. Shoot. I really need this. Oh no, 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 This is not good. This is not good. I really need this. Ah, oh, shoot. 
Oh. No, this is not good. I'm gonna lose this location. Oh, he's still coming. I'm never gonna find this guy. Aha! <laughs> oh, man! He's still no! <laughs> he's still coming. Where did he go? I have no more spear and I lost... Did he did he bleed out? But if he did, what where is he? Where did he go? Is he over there? I really want to get the one that I just took down because I lost all my spear now. I don't think I have a single spear left. Nope. I don't even have a knife. Oh no, I do. I do have a knife. Cool. Because I need that. If I can find this pig again. Or the hog. Is that him? That is him. He's got the spear in his back still. He's, he's right there. I feel so bad for him. But I, it, he's he's too dangerous. I don't have a weapon. Okay, good. Oh, Whew. could relieve him of his pain, and I got my spear back. So that's gonna be nice meat. So I don't know if I can find the other guy. Yeah, he was bleeding badly here. Look at this. So, where's the other guy? I got him somewhere up here. I don't know if I can find him again. That's the problem. I don't know exactly. Where oh, he's right here. <gasps> I am so lucky. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually found him. But I don't have, I don't see my spear though. I got two boars. That was really good. Whew. That was really good, but my health is probably pretty bad. Uh, yeah, my health is like super down. I need to have some of this. Thankfully, I was collecting that all summer. Oh, here's my guy. He's still standing here. He's just like standing here. How can I help you? Uh, you could work. Okay, his mood is a little bit better now, but why can't you just kind of do some work? His, his mood is going up. That's great. Okay. That, that's better than nothing. All right. That's, that's as much as I can do for him. So. All right. So let's go and put the hen house. Houses, services, production. Kitchen. Where where did I see the hen house? I don't remember anymore. Here. Oh, it's big. I didn't know it's going to be that big. Huh. I can't even put it here. Oh, I didn't know it was that big. I could put it here. Like right here. But that takes up so much room. Oh, well. I'm going to just do it. Who cares? That's fine. We need some room to walk in between the houses. That's okay. It doesn't have to be so so tightly packed. 
And again, we're going to have to go get logs. Hen house is almost done. Yes. Now I just need hens, right? My little hen house, but we still have to do some in here, which we need five planks. Is this all together we need five planks? That wouldn't be so bad. So I already have two planks over here. And I think I have two planks here. Oh, I have five planks. Okay. I think we're good then. Let's see if this works. Should work. And we're done! Oh my god! Look at this! I got my little hen house already. I can have so many chickens here and that will be egg. And, oh, I need animal feed for that, though. But that's okay. I don't have any chickens yet, so I don't have to worry about it. But it's ready. That'd be my first animal pen that I have now ready to grow chickens. That is so great. But I need to build two more houses. I don't know yet what. And I can see that there is five fields where nothing is growing. Oh well, I'm gonna worry about this in in spring. So I'm gonna put my logs like right here. I got some logs. Oh, it's only one. That's fine. All right. All right. This was really, really great. But look at the guy. He just stands here. Is he? Is he just? Is he happy at least? How can I help you? Are you happy? Just standing there. Oh, his mood is still minus 25. I don't know. Oh, status, no wood. I see. Oh, it's it's my fault. Now it's my fault. Uh, what kind of wood would you need? Logs? I had logs in there earlier and he just stood around, right? Wasn't it like that? Uh, should I just go and see what happens if I actually put some wood here? Hello there. Why can't he just get his own wood? I really have to go and bring you wood. Is that what you're saying? It says here, status, no wood. What kind of wood does he need though? Firewood? I don't really know what kind of wood he wants. Do I just put it into his house? Oh wait, that's his house. Let's see, if I give him, if I put this firewood over here. Is, is that gonna, is that gonna do it? How are you? Yeah, status, now I'm good. I just had to give him firewood. Does he need um, food too? Are you good with the firewood now? Do you want some more? I can make you some more. I have another log here that I can use. I mean, he really should do that himself. I don't see why I have to do that for him. He probably doesn't know how to. All right, so here is some wood. I'm gonna put some more into your box here. Cause I don't need it. I got my kitchen. So you should have plenty of firewood now. You should be super happy. You need some food? I'm gonna make you some food too. Better don't let this rot. 
think I yeah I got the food here. Let's just cook up this food and bring him some, and then see if he if that makes him happier. All right, let's go and uh, put that over there. And see if he actually eats that. So I gave him five meat. Hello. Hello. So his mood is going up now, which is good. Because you see, he's a hunter. He's good at hunting. So maybe, maybe that's the better house for him to be at. All right. Uh, I gave you food. I gave you wood, so you should be warm. And I am... Um, I'm supposed to sleep, actually. But... I guess it's already getting... Getting light. Oh, I just lost my torch. Great. I'm gonna cook up the rest of my meat real quick. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go and take a break. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me some feedback if you want. If you have any questions, feedback, anything, leave a comment. And subscribe if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.